Hello, my name is Trent Malachik, and I'm the Northwest Area Ag Econ Specialist for the Oklahoma Cooperative Extension Service, and I'll be providing a detailed look at the Agricultural Risk Coverage Program in the 2014 Farm Bill. Agricultural Risk Coverage, or ARC, provides revenue protection, which means it provides protection from losses in price or yield. Producers had the option to choose individual farm or ARC individual or county level ARC county coverage. ARC individual covers farm revenue shortfalls across all covered commodities planted on the farm across all farms enrolled in ARC individual in the state. ARC county protects against revenue shortfalls at the county level. Agricultural risk coverage is similar to the ACRE program in the 2008 Farm Bill. Some key differences are the county level trigger, whereas ACRE had a state or farm level trigger. Also, payments under ARC are limited to 10% of the benchmark revenue, whereas ACRE payments were limited to 25% of the benchmark. This is a huge difference for Oklahoma wheat producers, as ACRE provided a $45 to $60 per acre payment, whereas ARC will provide a $16 to $20 per acre payment, depending upon yields and prices. As you look at ARC in more detail, Payments are made if the per acre revenues fall below 86% of the benchmark revenue. So how is a benchmark revenue calculated? For county level ARC, a five-year Olympic average national price is multiplied by the five-year Olympic average county yield. For ARC individual, the farm level, a five-year Olympic average of the weighted per acre revenues are used. Prices used to compute the averages are the higher of the farm price or the reference price. The maximum payment made under ARC is 10% of the benchmark revenue, which covers losses from 76% to 86% of the benchmark revenue. So the actual revenue must fall below 86% of the benchmark in order to make payments. How much coverage does agricultural risk coverage provide? ARC County is paid on 85% of the base acres. Arc County can be a good option if a producer's yields are similar to the county average yields. Also, it does not matter if you plan a covered commodity if you were enrolled in Arc County. Alternatively, if you're enrolled in Arc Individual, Arc Individual is paid on 65% of base acres. Arc Individual is good for a producer if their individual yields are significantly higher than the county average but also you must plant a covered commodity every year in order to receive payments from ARC individual. Here's an example from Alfalfa County using ARC County yields in 2014. Here we have crops listed as canola, corn, grain sorghum, soybeans, and wheat. Using wheat as an example, we look at the crop years from 2009 to 2013 includes county average yields of 28 bushels per acre, 35, 31, 41, and 33 bushels per acre. Taking the five-year Olympic average of those yields, we remove the highest and the lowest observation to come up with an average of 33 bushels per acre. Similarly, we look at the 2014 ARC County price, whereas the five-year Olympic average of the marketing year average prices are used to come up with a price of $6.60. 33 bushels per acre multiplied by $6.60 gives a 2014 ARC County benchmark revenue of $218 per acre. 10% of that benchmark revenue equals a maximum payment per acre of $22 per acre. Looking at a more detailed table that is calculating ARC County payments, you can see that we have the same five-year Olympic average county yield at 33 and a five-year Olympic average marketing year average price of $6.60. This gives us our benchmark revenue of $218. The yield is listed across the top from 19 bushels up to 40 bushels. And on the left side, we see the marketing year average price is listed from $7.92 down to $3.93. So this is a what-if table that allows you to see when ARC County would make payments at various yields or prices. Because remember, ARC County and ARC Individual are both revenue products. So a loss in yield or price could trigger a payment. 
in the extreme cases, we can see that if a yield falls to 22 bushels per acre, an ARC County payment can still be made even if marketing year average price is $7.92. Alternatively, if we look at the other side of the table where yields of 40 bushels or above are witnessed, as long as prices fall below $4.72, Art County will begin to make payments. Anywhere in the gray where we see zeros, Art County will not make payments because there is not a loss below 86% of the benchmark revenue. Some considerations for producers enrolled in Art or that base acres can receive an ARC payment even if they are not planted to the enrolled commodity as long as that producer is in ARC County. This could be important for producers who do not always take a crop to harvest, such as producers who graze off wheat, or producers who plant a commodity that is not a covered commodity in the 2014 Farm Bill. Also, agricultural risk coverage is a shallow loss safety net program that may pay more often than PLC or price loss coverage, but cannot cover major losses due to large decreases in price due to the 10% stop loss built into the program. If you'd like more information on our agricultural risk coverage, I encourage you to visit the websites listed on this page or please contact your local county extension agent. Thank you.